Hi everybody, Jack here with a short video with a vocal lesson and little vocal warm up and practice. We're gonna start where we left off at the last video. If you remember, we talked about three ways to approach making music, three kind of foundational ways to think about this. The first is to have an open, wide open view so you're not narrowed in either in your body or your mind but you let your awareness and just kind of your mind relax into seeing everything not just visually but as you're listening to the music you are hearing what other people are doing you're hearing what everybody's doing you have a big picture view like being very high up and looking down along with that is the second point which is to stay focused to not get lost in where you are um, so it's it can be easy if you get too far out to just space out so at the same time that you're seeing everything you're very aware of all the details as well so we want to keep this balance between a wide open relaxed view and also we don't get distracted and we don't get lost and then the way that we put that together when we're making music is what uh, I like to call the groove which is that feeling of flow through the music. So the more that you're able to relax into this wide open view and you stay focused, you're going to feel the groove more and more. And that's uh, both the rhythm and the emotional feeling, the ups and down, the dynamics, all of that kind of goes into the groove. So um, we're going to practice a little bit with that today. And we're going to focus on how do we do that with our body and our voice. And we're going to talk and look specifically at the breath. Um, the mind, the body, and the breath are very, very connected. And singing is pretty much all about the breath. So we're going to, let's just practice a little bit with that. So first thing is make sure your posture is extremely important. So find a place to sit or stand. And you want to have a tall straight spine is the basic instruction. And then you wanna feel if you're sitting your weight and your butt, and if you're standing your weight on your feet and feel heavy there, feel that kind of sinking in the earth. As that sinks in, let your spine rise up all the way from the bottom, all the way to the top of your head. So don't think about that too much, just kind of get it straight. And then start, then you want to feel a relaxation there. So there's a tension here between being having energy coming up through your spine, but there's a relaxation, especially through your shoulders, through your face, through your jaw, through the back of your neck. Uh, these parts are particularly important for singing because any tension that you have here or here, it's going to translate very directly both into your ability to use your breath to create a tone and then into the tone itself by constricting the vocal cords. So sitting up straight, let's just take a couple deep breaths together. So first, just kind of allow yourself to enter a more wide open space, visually, aurally, just let your awareness expand. Come back to your posture, make sure you haven't lost the straight spine, feel relaxed, and then take a deep breath in. Again. Now the in-breath is particularly important for singing. We often ignore this part because we're focused on getting to the next note. But taking a deep, relaxing inhale at the beginning of every phrase is extremely important and sets up uh, how the phrase is going to go. So if you if you find yourself taking short breaths or you're adding tension, which a lot of people do, and we all, you know, have a tendency to do, um, that's going to really affect how you sound. So the very simple thing you can do is just to start to practice, and this is what we're going to do now, to, that your inhale is always relaxed and as much as you can full. So let's just do a simple, we're going to take a nice easy inhale, and we're going to exhale on a yawn. Oh, and let the pitch go down. But especially focusing on a nice, deep, relaxed inhale. Notice how, I don't know if you can hear it very well, but notice on the inhale, there's a deep 
dark awesome. That mean that's because my throat is open. Try to let your throat be open so you're not const there's no constriction in the inhale. So let's try that together a couple times. Sp spine straight, wide open view, relax deep hell inhale. <sighs> And again. And one more time. Good. So you should be feeling, even just from that little bit, a little bit more relaxed in your body. You might even feel a little bit better from taking that deep inhale. And this is an important part. As we sing, our body should feel more and more relaxed and energized and good. Now, this is an effect, not a cause. But if you're doing the right things, in general, you're going to feel better and better. And this can be a clue when you're singing. If you feel the opposite, that you're getting tighter and tighter and more agitated in your mind, then you need to come back. You're probably too constricted and you need to have a wide open view. Instead, keep reminding yourself to have a wide open view, deep inhales. And if you do that, the singing, your singing will make you feel better and better. It will calm your mind and focus it. And your sound will just naturally, without you having to do anything, will get better and better. So let's play with that a little bit more. Let's do it on a pitch, or on some pitches. Let's sing. Well, just repeat after me. I'm not sure a good way to do this over video. But repeat after me. Again, reminding yourself of the instructions each time. Wide open view. Tall spine. Feeling your weight into the ground. Relax through your face, your shoulders and your neck, and then a beautiful relaxing inhale, and then let it come out. Me first, and then you. Now me. Good. Do you feel a little bit more relaxed in your body? Do you feel a little more open? A little more energized? Maybe, maybe not. It's okay if you do or you don't. It's not necessarily going to happen right away. But we are, this is in, in general what we're working towards. Mm -hmm. So let's work a, work a little bit with vowels. So we talked, I believe, a little bit in the last video about um, vowels, and you have five basic vowels, a, e, e, o, u. A, e, e, the, the lips stay in a neutral position, and the only thing that moves is the tongue. A, o, u, the tongue stays in a neutral position, in the a position, and the lips move. So you have this spectrum from a, e and a on one side, o and u on the other, one direction the tongue moves, the other direction the lips move. And this might seem kind of really technical and not that important, but the voice really responds to tension. And we have a lot of tension. We, we all bring our habits of speech and our day into um, forming vowels and consonants, which we'll get to at another time. But the more we can get train ourselves once we sing to get rid of that tension, especially I see I keep putting my hands here because I have it too. I have a lot in my face, my shoulders, and the back of my neck. We want to train ourselves to let go of that. So that's what we're going to practice here. So you might put your hands on your face and just physically try to relax this. You might try it 
on the back of your neck and you might try it in your jaw. And we're gonna go between ah and e. If you have a mirror, like I kind of do right now, looking at myself in the video, you might be surprised thinking that you're not moving your face, but you actually are. So you want this to all stay completely still. I'll try to be the best example I can, but only the tongue moves. Uh, you can see I have a little bit of tension when I go to the E. For some reason, I want to shut my mouth. I want to contract a little bit. It's a bad habit of mine. Um, let's try it one more time. Uh, So this is a really good practice to explore a lot of things about vocal production. One is how you make these vowels um, and how your tongue moves. You notice the E goes up in the back and then comes back down flat in your mouth. You can play here. This is you, When you're learning something, it's really important to play, to keep it light and fun. If you get serious and tense, it's really, you're not gonna learn very fast. But if you can keep it light and exploratory, like you're trying to discover something, then you're gonna learn some really interesting things. So you can use these exercises, just play around with it, see what kind of weird sounds you can get. Notice, push the edges of sound, of vowels, make it really nasally, make it really um, uh, whatever, whatever you can make it, play around with it, but always focusing on removing the tension. Creating these vowels as clearly as you can without having any tension. So let's do the other ones. Ah, oh, ooh. So here, same thing, only your, your tongue stays in the ah position, uh, which the tip of your tongue should in general be on the bottom of your mouth, touching the bottom teeth lightly and it should be relaxed. <clears throat> um, and then you're just gonna let the rounding of your lips create these vowels. So here we go. Uh... So come back to your body, feel yourself heavy in your feet or your butt if you're sitting. Relax your shoulders, relax your face, relax your neck. Let your be breathing be free and natural, but full and open. And to end, let's do a little bit of call and response singing. So I want you to keep practicing the things that we've talked about today. Tall, straight spine. We'll start at the beginning. Wide open view, focused, in, but not getting distracted. Tall, straight spine, relaxed body in general, but especially in your shoulders, your neck, your face, your jaw, and your tongue. And a nice, relaxing, deep inhale. So each time, so I'll sing something, you sing it back. As you listen to me, go through the directions in your head. So each time you're reminding yourself to do all of these things and practicing so that you're creating good vocal habits. Here we go. Uh... Oh, <laughs> oh,
Very good. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. The most important thing you can do for your voice is use it, and to use it well, and to use it relaxed and with joy. So, as you can in these times during the day, just sit down and sing. Maybe play around with some of these ideas that we talked about today, or put on some of your favorite music and sing along. Whatever sounds fun. But use your voice, do it in a nice, relaxed, and joyful way. And I thank you all, and we'll see you when I see you.